So hello everyone. Um, my name is Joss. I'm CEO and co-founder at Rabuto. And we're joined today uh, with Christian. Christian is our um, solution blockchain specialist at Rabuto. And we'll be discussing some of the more technical um, challenges and achievements that we've done at Rabuto. How are you, Christian? I'm fine. Thank you for asking and inviting me, uh, Joe, with the, to this interview and i'm keen to answer to to any of your questions which you will have uh we're very happy to have you um so let's start with the first question um generally okay. speaking how challenging or difficult it is to combine the centralized and decentralized aspect of the infrastructure uh it's 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 quite challenging and it's not about a uh, uh, technical details uh, uh, as the core of, of, of the challenge, uh, it's more about how to apply some of the regulation and compliance, which, which you will guys, for example, we have during the road, uh, and to, to combine uh, the centralized and decentralized uh, infrastructure uh, in, in, in that particular space. Uh, that's actually one of the reasons why I wanted to be the part of this, because I want to, to, to challenge myself, you know, and, and, and uh, give you uh, give you as much as I can. Uh, because, to, uh, because of my prior experience, I saw where the, some, let's say, consequences, uh, if you do not, <laughs> if you do not do everything as you should at the beginning, you know, so I, I would say, also, it's uh, in a manner of the infrastructure. It's not the, the people need to understand. Blockchain is not just about you know we are going to create something and we are not, not going to deploy something or whatever. And we have a super nice product behind running running our company on it. Uh, it's more about procedures. You know, mm -hmm. it's like you are opening your own bank. So so, but you are also going to do some some different way of governing that bank. You know, so all that actually procedures which you have on the one side from the central space and all the, the procedure which you have on the other side from, on the centralized space which are well known for the for, for a lot of years you know uh, 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 are actually uh, something what needs to be worked mm -hmm. and that will actually shape the technical the technical infrastructure itself absolutely um i completely agree um while we're on the topic of infrastructure and kind of platforms um your comments on Rebuto choosing cardano what are the pros what are the cons we're obviously one of the first or actually the first um so what's your what are your thoughts on that okay so so uh, from the uh, platform perspective and the cardano itself i see something what the guys doing there is that i didn't see anywhere you know from the six thousand of those tokens and ha, ha, ha. oh and and uh, that is uh, that is the, the standardization of development process this is something what what i see in cardano and what they uh, really they strive to have that and uh, uh, for example you have the scripting uh, uh, dsl language you which is uh, which is like you just describe the the functionality of your smart contract and and it can be executed based on their uh, uh, on their setup and also what i see is that there is a lot of uh, uh, a lot of tools around cardano which can uh, already be used and you do not need to develop them uh, uh, and from the from the let's say cons pr uh, perspective, I would say just just a roadmap which needs to be aligned uh, mm -hmm. with Rebuto roadmap because Cardano really has a major roadmap. You know they are going like you know slow but secure and 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 they want to to make sure that everything fits perfectly. And uh, that's what I actually see as uh, as uh, as a challenge for for Rebuto. You know but but at the end uh, of the day. It's just it's just a matter of great communication and under understanding of the tools which with which you are working and you will be able to adapt to any kind of, of throw the challenges which will Cardano have. Mm -hmm. We're very lucky to have um, their support and we're uh, completely aligned on the roadmap and we're also yeah. uh, you know anticipating the Alonso hard fork uh, very eagerly. So mm -hmm. while we're on that, the stable and governance token use case for Rebuto, um, can you elaborate a bit on that? Yes, of course. Uh, I like the uh, the idea about this. 
because on the on the one end you have some users which which are more like they, they do not want to take take risks so much you know so basically they will more like be uh, in a, in a stable Revuto coin you know where they will maybe during the road earn some interest and get the cashbacks and all those uh, uh, great things to to lower the subs to lower the subscription. On the other hand, the governance uh, 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 tokens is something what I think is is crucial for these kind of projects because you have one uh, on the one side you have the centralized aspect of the application, you know, just handling the subscription. On the other side, you have all the DeFi, DeFi and DeFi is really. Uh, uh, dynamic space and uh, with governance tokens, you will definitely get great minds, you know, who will, who want to be a part of running the Revuto functionality updates and, 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 and the road in, in its future. And that's the point of the blockchain itself. If you have a great idea and you can offer something to the cut to your customers, okay it's normally that you as a uh, as a as a stakeholder who who initiated will earn something but it is also uh, uh, the point to to invest involve the community and that's that's what's what's really uh, really a uh, uh, great job done with those stable and governance governance token which you have in the rebuto absolutely um while we're on the infrastructure topics uh, what would you say? What are some of the biggest infrastructure um, challenges, and also, you know, maybe opportunities? Okay, so yeah, from the opportunities perspective, I'll immediately say because you will have unique, unique knowledge during the road because being. Uh, being someone who will provide a, 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 a bridge, let's say, behind crypto and, and fiat space and payment processing is, it's not so difficult in the manner of technical development. Mm -hmm. It's it's just has, you have a lot of work to do, you know, mm -hmm. and you need to be uh, uh, like in a scent, uh, pre precise in a scent, you know, so that uh, will uh, force people to give the, their best, you know, and uh, uh, from the infrastructure itself, uh, how those, how people will need to, 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 to attack that challenges is that they, they will need to understand the, the, the payout systems, how, how it will work and how the whole community will get involved, like the living being, you know, and mm -hmm. based on that, they will be able to, to create a, a, a scalability and robust systems because it's not about uh, uh, making sure the transaction is, you know, sent to that address. It's making sure that everything is settled properly. So, so that will be the big so i think the biggest infrastructure challenge goes to the centralized side because you know on the on the the central side you have the proof of 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 everything that it's not that's it that is immutable so it's pretty much easy to to do that but transfer all that amount and settle it with the centralized side will be definitely uh, uh challenging for the developers and everybody who will be involved Absolutely. Um, I could not agree more with that. And that's a challenge that we're, we're very excited to, uh, we're yeah. excited to solve. Final question. Um, can you just share some remarks and um, insights that you have on the DeFi model behind Revuto? And what are some of the, again, challenges and opportunities behind that? Yeah, yeah. So definitely, you know, for me as a, I will say I will give you a use case based on on the on the on the products which you have for the DeFi. So basically, me as a I as a company, I have like a lot of bills, you know, which are pretty much subscription based. You know, for the PM tools, from design tools, everything goes is going to the subscription. So uh, the borrowing system, lending system, and and the liquidity system. Which which Revuto has actually allows me to to calculate the amount of money which I need to spend for the next year, you know, for the next financial year, and put it into the Revuto wallet, stake it, mm -hmm. you know, or provide yeah. liquidity and earn interest without uh, uh, without worrying about if the the money will be uh, locked on time because Revuto ha I can set up the all the information when I when I need to pay like Amazon AVS for the infrastructure of my applications or 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 I don't know Gmail for for handling my email accounts and G Suite uh, so so you give me actually the opportunity with all De DeFi models uh, for me to work on on my subscription in future and control mm -hmm. my money flow in future and make even better better uh, say, uh, cost savings you know so so uh, for of course 
uh, why uh, the, the DeFi model itself uh, can be uh, different for uh, based on the use case of the of the end user who, for example, some private user will, will maybe just want the user would you know to provide liquidity and he will be like uh, pretty satisfied with interest which he, he has the other guys will just need to, to handle the subscription but i think the ultimate model in the use case which I, which uh, is what i said right now use it not to avoid subscription use it to to earn to pay some uh, zero dollar subscription let's call it like that you know <laughs> if uh, so it force you to be more uh responsible in controlling your personal or business finance so and if we know and we all know and even in creation now you have the articles uh, uh, mentioning that uh, subscription models are future for almost everything even for for cars that uh, that that people are stopping buying the cars and starting the just a uh, long term renting that's it that's that's actually what you need to do as we would put it, um, stay Karevu and forget about subscriptions for life. <laughs> yes, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's basically that's, it. You know. that, that's the pitch. Um, Christian, thank you very much. Again, this is Christian, our uh, blockchain solution specialist at Rebuto. Uh, this is our first, but I'm sure this isn't our last interview. So I'm looking forward to seeing you in the future. Yeah, this is definitely not a, not not the first. Uh, here, I wanted to explain the the let's say the generic model behind. But for those who would like to see more technical details in future, I invite you to 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 stay subscribed to these uh, to the, to these shows which we will have and and and, uh, and podcast. Let's call it podcast mm -hmm. because we will de definitely dig in uh, deep into into the technology itself. Uh, uh, as I think it's quite important for everybody who want to invest and uh, uh, support crypto projects to understand that uh, the team knows what what we are doing behind absolutely that's basically it. absolutely always the research yes thank you christian yeah. and we'll see you again soon thank you bye